We got the Angels playing the Rangers July 30th, 2022. Both teams' pitching staff struggle, and there's 16 runs coming across tonight, which is almost as many strikeouts as there was in the entire game. Isn't that crazy? Normally right now, I'd go over the Angels starting pitching, but basically, he got shelled. Rangers pitching, they got shelled. Every single pitcher tonight, except for two out of the seven, got shelled. It was a high-scoring game, but man, what a struggle both pitching staffs had tonight. Here's what the Angels' card looked like. Yep, that's pretty rough. And here's what the Rangers card looked like. Yep, that's also very rough for the pitching staff. But enough about the pitching staff struggles. Let's skip into some scoring. I already showed you the Rangers' first couple of runs, but I don't really care about that. So let's skip you into the bottom of the third here. And this bottom inning starts off rough because Phil Gosselin gets drilled in the head with a 91 mile per hour pitch. The auto threw a little too high up and in. Gosselin was pulled from the game. I hope he's all right. He looked fine, maybe just a little frazzled. He did walk away and he looked like he was just, you know, didn't want to get hit in the head with a pitch. And then right after that, we're going to have Andrew Velasquez. He's going to hit a single bunt, which is going to get them both up. Look at that. They can't field the ball in time. That's going to get two runners on with zero outs, which is great because now we got Shohei Otani up at the plate. What is Otani going to do to this baseball? Oh, that's right. Absolutely destroy that ball. Sends it into orbit. That ball is gone. Otani makes the lead happen for the Angels. It's now 3-2 to two in the bottom of the third. But, you know, the Rangers also decided to hit back so in the top of the fourth Simeon hits a home run but I don't really care about that at all so let's skip on a little bit further as in the bottom of the fifth Max Stassi hits this ball into the left field that's going to make this game now four to five as he scores in Taylor Ward but the Rangers just can't let the Angels come back at all because Mybris Valoria if I said your name wrong I'm sorry I have I don't even know how to spell your name, but anyways, he hits this home run. That's going to get the Rangers now up to lead 7-4 to four in the top of the six. But luckily for the Angels, David Fletcher is back. He hits this double into left field. That's going to score in Max Stassi and Brandon Marsh and bring this game to a nice 6-7. to seven. Angels are now only trailing by one. Still in the bottom of the eighth, we got Luis Renjifo up to bat. He's going to not swing, but he's going to get a run across as he doesn't swing at that wild pitch. And that brings in Fletcher, and then Renjifo is going to hit this ball. Look at that. It's going to drop is it it does that ball drops Renhifo gets the rbi double and this game is now nine to seven in the bottom of the eighth the rangers have no comeback for this and the angels win this one nine to seven so light that baby up thank y'all for watching have a great night like and subscribe